Hey, what's going on, Game Leapers? This is Coach Eags, and in today's video, we're going to be answering the question if Rush is a washed up boomer now after recently returning to streaming, or if he's still a Korean god that we knew him to be. So, to find out in this video how to jungle like 1500 LP junglers like Canyon, like Owner, the best in the world, make sure you stick around for the whole video. It's going to be a banger. And as always, any comments, any questions that you have about the game, leave them down below. And if you do want to master the jungle role, guys, or any of the roles in the game, or any of the champions, make sure you check out the Game Leap website in the description comment section we have so many challenger players and coaches from around the world uploading videos on the reg to the website for our subscribers so get that exclusive access by signing up and let's get into the video so rush in this game is playing zed jungle and in this game starting a red buff to me anyway makes sense because he's pathing towards his ignite riven if riven can get a kill or two in the early game she's going to snowball and hopefully carry playing for bot lane here with Jin and lux they should be fine and Jin brings utility anyway so him not getting fed isn't a big deal so starting at red buff Pathing towards topside, that's the way to go. But if you are going to play Z Jungle, guys, please make sure you skill your E second. It's going to help with your clear speed. And as you can see, when Rush goes to Raptors, he's in a bit of an awkward position. But he does something very smart here after Lulu wards his Raptors. What he's going to do, he's going to pull this camp into the brush. This means that the enemy jungler cannot see Rush doing the camp and therefore his HP bar. If Talia, who is the enemy jungler, was to notice that Rush was on like 200 HP after finishing Raptors, she might make a play on Rush's topside jungle and Rush would be in a very precarious position. So if you think this is warded, guys, make sure you draw the camp into the brush. The enemy champions won't see it. But when Rush finishes Raptors here, he really should be doing a couple of things. The first one is to look at top lane. You always want to be looking at the lane you're pathing towards. So if you're going from your bot side jungle to top side jungle, you should be looking at top. But thankfully here, I can tell and hopefully Rush could tell as well that there's nothing going on in the top lane. You can see that Riven and Lee send their icons on the map. They're not exactly on top of each other. And also if you look above the map at Riven head, her HP bar is full HP. So really there's been no fighting, so there's no immediate play on the top side of the map. But what about mid lane? What about if Rush was to go through mid around the back of Lulu? Well, we don't know if he can do that because he doesn't actually look at the lane. Therefore, an opportunity may have been missed. But this is still fine farming camps. You're getting golden experience. But the point here is that anyone can do this and opportunities in other games as well, if you're doing this in other games, are going to be missed. We always have to have this flexible mindset. You cannot lock yourself in for two to three minutes into a full clear every single game. Now, as Rush is farming Grand Prix, guys, he does something that's very important. The Riven is going to get ganked by Talia. So what Rush is going to do, he's going to look at the Talia. This is essential if you're jungling, to look at the enemy jungler as soon as they show on the map, because it's going to show four details. The first one is HP, of course. So if Talia is half HP, it's very different to Talia being full HP. The second, of course, is mana. This gives us an indication on whether Talia is going to recall, if she's Oom, or if she's probably going to stay on the map or not. Also levels, right next to the HP and mana bar, and of course for jungle, the buffs at the base of the character model. This is crucial, because if Talia doesn't have a red buff here, we know that her red buff is up. If she doesn't have blue buff, she may have done a clear where she goes from red Raptors Krugs into a topside gank. But that's impossible in this game because she has both buffs, and when Rush presses tab to check Talia's CS, which is 20, we know 100%, because each camp is worth 4 CS, including Rift Herald and Dragon, we know that Talia has done 5 camps from bot side of the map to top side, so she started at blue buff. This information is crucial in calculating where Talia has been, therefore where she's going to go. History tends to repeat itself. And if we think about where Talia is going to go from this point onwards, well let's think about it. She hasn't done one camp. Now my guess is that she hasn't done her Krugs, so after this little play, Talia is probably going to go to her Krugs. That means that Rush has a free Scuttle Crab right here. He also has a free Scuttle Crab bot side of the map, and if nothing was to happen in the lanes at this point, Rush could easily get the bottom Crab as well. This would deny Talia both crabs, therefore Rush has a two camp lead and he's not going to lose anything for doing so. But Rush is going to teach us all here why it's so important to stay flexible and always react to lanes. So when he looks at the lane here with his camera, he actually looks at the lane. He's not just looking at the minimap. He can see that the wave is pushing towards Riven and because Riven has Ignite, there's a lot of kill threat here with Zed and Riven. But then he looks mid and realizes that Lulu is actually way more killable. She's almost oom, she's missing HP, but the problem is that Lulu is going to recall in a safe position after shoving this wave. So Rush makes the right play and going top side of the map here. I would just say here though, guys, be very aware of your teammate's cooldown. So when Lee Sin jumps in on Riven, she stuns the Lee Sin. So Rush knows that he doesn't have any CC to work with, so it's all down to him to land his skill shots. This is crucial because it will help you envision what combo, what type of mechanics you need to use to kill the enemy champion. Now, after helping Riven shove these minion waves, we still have to think about the enemy jungler because that's our matchup. We have to win the jungle. So where do you think Talia is going to go here? Because if we 
think about where she started, right? She started at blue buff, which probably means she's done Gromp and then Wolves. Gromp is going to respawn around 415, 420. So in my head, I can picture Talia running bot side of the map. But we have to think about what Rush has done here as well. He has decided to stay top side, so use a good 20, 30 seconds of his time to help Riven shove these ways out. Talia can see this. So she knows that if Zed started bot side, because Rush has done in this game, Rush's Krugs and Raptors are there for the taking. This is why that when Rush runs to the bot side of the map here, Talia is on his Krugs, because she's counterplaying what Rush was doing top. But if we just rewind guys, to when Rush is in base. If you know what the enemy jungler should be doing here, so Talia should be on Rush's Crux. Also, the enemy bot lane has two against one, so Senna and Kaiser against Jin. There's no support there, there's no real strength at the moment for Rush's bot lane. So what we should actually think about is hitting Talia's top side. We also have a serrated Dirk, so a nice base, so even if Talia was on her top side, we could easily 1v1 her. So the actual 5 head play for Rush is to actually run to Talia's Raptors. And after doing her Raptors, it really depends on what the map is saying. Maybe he can gank mid. Maybe he can gank top. His Gromp might be spawning very soon after, and he might be able to clear down from Gromp to Krux. So this was a little mistake that Rush makes, and for whatever reason here, he decides to Giga Greed for a Lulu when there are three enemy champions in the vicinity. Now, the death isn't too bad. I've seen worse, but the problem is you're trading one for one. So it's not just the 300 gold you give up for dying, or maybe more. It's the fact that you're not on the map to farm your camps, so Talia might be able to take these, and you're not on the map protecting your lanes. They are without their jungler, so they are playing on their own. This is why deaths like this are pretty troll, so try to avoid them in your games. Now, when Rush dies here, I know he's running out of base and he'll be thinking about his stream and all that, but in your games, what I want you to do, I want you to think about where the enemy jungler is going all the time. If you're running out of base, they're probably doing the same thing, or they're on the map already. So where are they? Communicate that information to your teammates. That's the best thing about jungle. You can deny the enemy jungler's counterplay just by pinging. You don't even have to physically be there. And based on that information, you might be able to ambush them at one of their camps. You might be able to steal some of their camps, it kind of depends, but one big mistake that Rush makes running out of base is that he doesn't look at his lane states. He doesn't look top lane. Has Riven got a freeze going? Is Lee Sin half HP? What about mid lane? Is it pushing into Vex? So the wave in 20 seconds time might be really good, so Rush can come behind the Lulu and kill her. This is essential because what Rush is doing here, he's running out on the map blind. He doesn't know what's happening in his lanes. He doesn't have the context of Summoner's Rift, so he won't be able to find the best decision for himself. So as Rush is farming Raptors, you can see that mid lane is actually pushing towards towards Vex, and he could have ganked around from the top side. He doesn't even need to farm his camps in that situation. Now, thankfully, Vex is going to kill the enemy mid Lulu, which is kind of huge. But whenever this happens, guys, what do you think the enemy jungler, if they see your mid laner on this HP or any laner, is going to do if they're nearby? Well, of course, they're going to run at them. So right here, when Rush sees that Vex is this low, he should actually just run mid straight away and help her shove the next wave. This means that Talia, the enemy jungler, if she's to make a play on Vex, she really can't. If she does, she will trade one for one, and Rush will have a massive lead, he can steal her camps, and the game is probably over. Now, thankfully, Vex doesn't die, but she does have to use her flash, and after this, we're going to see one of the biggest troll moves I think of all time, based on what Rush does. So right here, he should just simply kill the minions, and maybe try to pick Talia off when she's farming her walls or Gromp maybe afterwards. But what he says is that he's close to level 6, but it probably doesn't justify this. This is beyond troll and a bit too much Kek W. So based on the early game of this particular game, what do you guys think? Do you think Rush is a bit washed here? Do you think he's a little bit coin flippy these days? Because I can feel as if he still has a challenger jungle intuition. It's just the other factors like maybe streaming, reacting to Twitch chat, being entertaining. These are actually having an impact on him finding the best jungle moves and also paying attention during the whole game, which is a must. So let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. If you do enjoy these types of videos, let us know by leaving a like down below as well. And until our next season 12 upload, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. This has been Coach. Peace.